Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to yet another ranking my makeup collection video. Today, we are ranking my concealer collection. My concealer collection is actually down to 11 concealers, which I know is still a lot, but considering where my collection concealer has, where my concealer collection has been, um, I'm happy about 11. I'm hoping it's significant. I'm hoping it's under 10. Bye the end of this year but i do have those 11 concealers to rank from my least favorite to my favorite for you guys today i will also leave my ranking my makeup playlist for you guys down below i have ranked primer powder and now we're doing concealer and then i promise more fun categories are are on the horizon would also love to know in the comments what are your favorite least favorite concealers let us all know other than that if you have yet to subscribe to my channel and you like project panning content ranking makeup or just chit chatting about makeup i'd love if you consider subscribing i'd love if you consider subscribing before moving on and other than that let's jump into the video all right as we do in every video we're going to start with my least favorite and we all knew it was coming we all knew this is the rms uncover concealer this has been in my collection for so long i have a pan in it and if i had not yet committed myself so much to this concealer i feel i would declutter it i am looking for different ways to make this work in other ways other than an under eye concealer because it truly just does not excite me to use a potted under eye concealer especially one that i feel like just doesn't offer coverage so I wouldn't really recommend this one unless you have like the most 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 youthful skin and you're trying to use this as like an under eye brightener i don't know i still wouldn't recommend it i still wouldn't next up speaking of potted products i do actually really like this product this is the becca under eye brightening concealer but it's just really emollient and really sticky it does the job like it does brighten underneath the eyes but i definitely used to love this product a lot more than i do now maybe i should just consistently use this more and really see that it brightens underneath my eyes but i just haven't consistently used this lately either so i couldn't rank this one higher than number 10. the same thing kind of goes for this next one coming in at number nine is the covergirl true blend uncover concealer i just have not reached for this concealer in so long that i could not in good faith rank this any higher than number nine i don't even really remember anything about this concealer i want to say it's like pretty full coverage but not super heavy underneath the eyes but i honestly as i was pulling my concealers out and have and as i've been pulling out my other makeup products to rank i've been kind of like side eyeing things and like deciding if i should declutter certain products and this is one of those products that i'm like should i i feel like i should honestly because i really love my top concealers so much more i think i'm gonna declutter this one you guys you may see this in an upcoming declutter i'm setting that to the side and honestly i'm taking it out of my spreadsheet because i have that up yeah we're gonna i'm decluttering that and you may be asking yourself steph why are you decluttering this one but not the two below it again i've committed so much to this rms concealer i must finish this and then with the becca it's just i haven't used this enough we're moving on <laughs> coming in at number eight I have this one from elf it's the flawless and brightening concealer i actually really loved this when i first got this and i just haven't used this much lately this is a really nice product specifically it does not really offer coverage underneath the eyes again it's more brightening but then this is going to offer more brightening than this this i like and have liked for like cleaning up like my eyeshadow but i also can just do that with any concealer i used to say i would repurchase this but i don't i don't know anymore i don't know i just feel like this doesn't offer a lot of coverage and you can use any concealer that you have in your collection to like clean up like a wing or whatever it might be so my feelings have changed that's why i think it's fun to rank year after year um to kind of see like my makeup preferences have definitely changed very rapidly in some categories and other categories like my primer like my top two were still like the same that they've been for years coming in at number seven i believe yeah seven is the dior forever skin correct now i do really like this concealer i'm currently working on this in my rolling project 10 pan it's just a little bit thicker than i would like my concealer to be i do think it provides really nice coverage underneath the eyes um it's a little bit more drying but not like dry a little bit more drying than some of my other more 
preferable like higher ranked concealers and it's more expensive like i just my top four even like five i really love and just would choose those over this any day so there are still high-end concealers that i would recommend that are less expensive than the dior that are going to offer you like the same amount of coverage um so anyway that's why that one's ranking at number seven i'm so rambly today coming in at number six is my nyx born to glow radiant concealer this is more of like a light to medium coverage concealer which i personally don't mind i don't need like a super full coverage concealer um and this offers just like a brightness underneath the eyes not like a brightening concealer level brightness but like a radiance that just offers like a healthy glow underneath the eyes if i am doing like a tinted moisturizer or just wearing like a primer but trying to add just a little something underneath my eyes this is the concealer i'm often reaching for if you are someone who needs a lot of coverage maybe you have a lot of like blueness or darkness underneath the eyes i don't think that this is going to be enough for you but i do really enjoy that one i'm interested in trying the nyx bear with me concealer but i would like to like get rid of some of these use some of these up before purchasing that i almost i will admit i almost purchased that concealer like two weeks ago and then i was like girl no just hold off finish off a concealer or two and then and then purchase it coming in at number five i really my top five i really like these concealers so this one is from rose inc i will warn rose inc is a clean beauty brand and their products are known to go bad more quickly than others but i love their concealer i will say it is a little bit thicker it reminds me quite a bit of the dior concealer it's a little bit thicker but it's still hydrating underneath the eyes it offers a really good really good full coverage in my opinion and it blends out just really nicely i just find it to be hydrating not super heavy but offers really good coverage and i have really enjoyed this one from rose inc next i have this one from charlotte tilbury this is the beautiful skin radiant concealer i love this concealer i was not expecting to love this one as much as i do if i want my under eyes to look like i've gotten them is it micro needled recently this is the concealer like this smooths my under eyes the most out of any of these concealers it is a little bit heavier underneath the eyes than my top three but it really really like i feel like do you see like you guys see like i don't want to call this a wrinkle like i don't really know what to call this but like this does not leave a hollowness underneath my eyes like i do like i'm getting i'm almost 32 by the time this video goes up i might already be 32 <laughs> and i definitely notice one my forehead wrinkles and two just like my under eyes are starting to bother me a little bit more than they used to this makes me feel really good about my under eyes it offers a really great coverage and again it kind of takes away from some of like the hollowness underneath my eyes i really like that one coming in at number three my two and three i was like going back and forth and going back and forth and i think my number two is ranking at number two because i've been using that frequently so i'm just like feeling in a little bit more in love with it but i my top i'm telling you guys my top five i love so coming in at number three i have the lys triple fix full coverage brightening concealer i don't find this concealer to be like full coverage but it is a really thin consistency and it just looks so beautiful underneath the eyes it isn't gonna offer you it is going to offer you some brightness but this is like one of the least heavy concealers i have ever used i'm telling you it is just so thin yet offers a good medium coverage in my opinion and i am such a fan as are so many other people also for being at sephora this is on the more affordable side of things or it's just less expensive than a lot of the other concealers available at sephora i really don't think you can go wrong with that one <clears throat> coming in at number two i've had this in my collection for so long finally pulled this into a shop my stash and you guys i freaking love this one from giorgio armani it is the power fabric concealer this concealer truly i know people say this but like it blends itself but like it really does like i swear like i just like swipe it on and like i don't even go over and tap with my fingers and it's like blended that's a bit of an exaggeration but that's really how it feels i again would say that this is more of a medium coverage concealer but again i am not someone who feels i need like a full full coverage like i don't have darkness that i'm trying to really hide it's really just like more of like a hollowness like 
Is that even the right word? That's how I feel. Anyway, um, this is great. It, it is truly the most effortless, effortless concealer to blend that I've ever owned. And I will continue to repurchase that even though that one is very expensive. And then coming in at number one, we have my tried and true Kosas Revealer Concealer. This is my second tube of this. My favorite concealer of all time. I will say I my first tube of this, the lid broke. Like I think I was twisting it on too tightly. My lid broke. I taped it with scotch tape over the top and my concealer did not go bad on me. The formula didn't go bad. I ended up using that concealer up to completion. Um, but I have heard people say their closest products go bad more quickly and other people have had issues with their caps breaking. So just be leery of that because it was very annoying when my cap was broken. But truly, the formula of the Kosas Revealer Concealer, it's just undeniably good. It can really, it's a very flexible formula in that you can sheer it out to be more like light medium coverage, or you can pop it on, let it sit underneath your eyes for 30 to 60 seconds, and then blend it out. And it can really give you more of that full coverage effect while still being hydrating underneath the eyes, not looking cakey, not looking heavy. It is truly just the best of the best in my opinion i love this concealer so much and will always unless they discontinue it will always own this in my collection so there you have it that is how i would rank all 11 concealers in my collection from my least favorite all the way to my favorite i'm excited to have a new declutter like i'm just excited to really focus on the products that I love in my collection. That is what I'm trying to get to this year while still having fun and testing new makeup. But concealer is not one of those categories that I get super, super excited to test all of the new concealers. So I am really hoping that I could get my concealer collection down to like eight because then I would have like my top concealers with a, with room to like test a few here and there. But that is gonna wrap it up for today's video. Again, leave your comments. Let me know your favorite and your least favorite concealers in the comments below. Other than that, thanks so much for sticking around to watch, for supporting me, for supporting my channel. I appreciate it and I love you guys so much. I will catch you in my next video. Bye.